Hello friends, my name is Ashish and welcome back to How To Mondays on Guiding Tech. Now, as I promised in my last video, today I'll be sharing a pretty useful trick using which you can take backup of the apps on your Android along with its data even though you're not on a rooted device. Now this trick can be re very helpful if you want to transfer your app along with its data from one device to another and the app doesn't support uh, cloud-based syncing and you don't have root on either of the phones. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started and see how the trick works. So guys, the first thing that you'll have to do is enable the USB debugging using the developer options on your Android device. And to do that, open up your Android settings and navigate all the way to developer options. Now, if you don't see this option, you'll have to tap on about and then tap on the build number seven times and it will be unlocked. Now under developer options, you'll have to scroll down and make sure that the USB debugging is turned on and you have a check against it. Now once that's done, you'll have to download an app from the Play Store and the name of the app is Helium App Sync and Backup. Now the app is free with ads in it and once you have installed it, you can just go ahead and open it up. Now when you open up the app for the first time, uh, it's it's important for you to connect it to a computer and activate it using a Carbon app that must be installed on your desktop. Now, so to do that, you'll have to connect your computer, uh, your device to computer using a USB cable. And then on your computer, you'll have to open up the app and wait for it to activate it. Now, once you are on your desktop, you'll have to open up the Helium homepage and I'll give you the links in the description of the video and once you're on this page uh, you'll find the installer for Windows, Mac and Linux. Now Windows user will have to install Android Windows driver and the links to various phones I mean the drivers of various phones are available on the website itself that you can go ahead and install. Now once you have the driver you'll have to go ahead and install the Windows uh, application now as i'm using windows i'll go ahead and install windows but you can use any of the mac or the linux desktop application now once the application is installed you'll have to open up the start menu and search for helium and launch it now the app will automatically search for the device and if it is in usb debugging mode and the adb drivers are installed the helium uh, would be activated on the device and then you can go ahead and use it now, once you have activated Helium using a computer, you no longer will need the data cable and it can function on its own. Now, every time your phone reboots, uh, it's mandatory for you to activate the Helium using a computer. And uh, without that, I mean, uh, you can use it. I mean, if you don't reboot your computer, you can use it without uh, connecting to the computer for as long as you want. Now, once you are on this page, uh, it will give you some of the system like the user dictionary or the messages that you can uh, backup. But as you can see in the application list, it will list all the application which you can backup along with its data even though you don't have a root access. Now at the end of the list, you'll find a section that says backup disallowed. And uh, these app, you cannot backup with their data uh, due to system limitation that are imposed by the developer itself. Now let's say I want to backup the speed test and uh, I'll just put a check on it and I'll get the option that one app is selected for backup. Now once I tap on it, it gives an option to just backup the app data that are smaller backups and the APK file will not be backed up and you'll have to install the APK file from the market before you restore this backup. Now if you want to include the APK file as well in the backup, you'll have to remove this check and then tap on the backup option. Now in here, it will give you the options to select if you want to make a backup on Google Drive or your any of the cloud account that you want. But that are, uh, that is actually a pro version. Uh, I mean, you'll have to purchase pro version to use that trick. For now, I'll just go ahead and choose internal storage. Now, once you uh, see the screen, uh, you don't have to do anything and the app will take care of it. And soon the backup will start. Now it, it doesn't give any percentage or whatsoever while creating a backup and you just have to wait for it to finish. Now once the backup is finished, uh, let me just go ahead and uninstall my speed test application. 
so that we have a clear view that the data is actually backed up and not that and not the app itself now once i've uninstalled my speed test app uh, let me go ahead and again open the helium app and then proceed to restore and sync now in here uh, you'll see the devices are uh, internal storage and that's where you need to tap if you have created the backup on your internal storage device and as you can see i can speed uh, i can see speed test over here so i'll just put a check on it and tap on the restore button now again uh, the app will take care of everything right now and begin the restore progress now as you can see that the restore is complete so let me just go ahead and open up the speed test one more time and everything in if everything went fine i should have my previous results and as you can see i have them in the list and the app has its data that it had the time before we uninstalled it now the helium app is free to download and install it but there are some ads in it and of course you can go ahead and buy the pro version and uh, it will give you the options such as cloud sync along with uh, that that includes dropbox google drive and also box and using the pro version uh, i mean there is an interesting feature in which uh, using which you can actually sync the android data files from one android to another so if you are using two androids using this particular option you can uh, i mean transfer the app data that is like the save games from one device to another using any of the cloud accounts so friends that was how you can use the helium app on your android to transfer apps along with its data from one device to another even though none of them are rooted If you have any doubts please do ask me in the comment section if you like the video and the efforts behind it don't forget to press the thumbs up button and the most important part guys if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do hit the subscribe button and be a part of our community this was Ashish from guiding tech and i hope to see you in my next upcoming videos till then take care and have a wonderful day